Sir Brady. Oh, yeah. With the release of Marvel's Avengers Infinity War trailer, we are now in a state of mind of what's next for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Kevin Feige and the rest of the team over at Marvel Studios have been mapping out the future of this franchise since its inception in 2006. But now, that's coming to an end. They've been giving contracts to the initial seven actors, including Sam Jackson, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, but now their time is running out. So what's next for these people and their characters in the universe? Well, let's look into it. After the release of Avengers Age of Ultron, Robert Downey Jr. was quite public in the fact that he had to renew his contract to appear in more films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This reminded people that nothing lasts forever. This also started a bunch of rumors for the upcoming Captain America Civil War the following year, in which that comic book origin has a lot of deaths and depowered heroes in it, which got people to speculate who could die in Civil War. So both Captain America and Iron Man had been rumored to die in Captain America's Civil War. That didn't happen. The only major change we got was War Machine being put on hiatus after his back being broken at the German airport fight. Although he seems okay for Infinity War. The death of Captain America and Iron Man had been speculating for quite a while because both Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. as I mentioned have been vocal about their eventual stepping away from the franchise. So those are our first two possibilities. Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans stepping away from the franchise after Infinity War. So now let's have a look at some characters that could die in Infinity War. First, a bit of insight. The Infinity Gauntlet, once it's got all its gems, has the power to reverse time. This is taken from Doctor Strange's Eye of Agamotto. Once Thanos gets that gem, he can move time around. So these next suggestions on characters that could die is based on the fact that they'll probably be brought back to life in a sequel or later on in the franchise. So who's gonna die? I don't, I don't know, but let's start with um, Vision. Now Vision is a recent inclusion to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but the fact that he's actually got one of the gems in his head makes him a big target for Thanos. The possibility based off the trailer is that the stone is ripped from his head. He has become depowered or is killed because of this. His revival could come in Thanos being defeated in the second Avengers film and Doctor Strange getting the Iron Agamotto returned to him and he could reverse time giving Vision his power back. Another possibility that I really like is the death of Spider-Man. Now obviously there's been a lot of talk about Spider-Man entering and exiting the Marvel Cinematic Universe due to the deal between Sony and Disney, but I think it could be interesting to see Spider-Man killed in Infinity War. Because of the trailer, we see Tony Stark in a hump, in a sad moment. We don't know who he could be sad about or what he could be sad about, but I think it could be a cool idea that he is sad over the death of Peter Parker. He sees himself as the mentor to this kid, and to have that kid die under his watch would probably be quite devastating. The cool idea about this is that the audience wouldn't expect it. They'll be devastated by this, so surprised, which will lead them to be more interested in the sequel or any follow-ups that will include Spider-Man. Yeah? Yeah? Don't get me wrong, I love Spider-Man, but I just think thinking outside of the box for Marvel is really a, a good way to go. People always talk about them basing off comics and basing them off other lore, and really it's an original thing. Yes, it's based off something, but they can be completely original with their script and their story. So let's hope they do it. The final possibility is, of course, Hawkeye or Black Widow. They've been the butt of the joke for the majority of the franchise, being two of the only heroes with no actual power. Just sticks and arrows. They're two of the only main original characters that don't have a solo film in the works. And if you don't listen to the rumors. So to have them die could be really heartfelt. We've seen them in quite a few movies now and the audience is attached to them. Having them die will make them emotionally attached. It could also show the strength of Thanos just crushing these two humans. It's kind of dark, but I'd be interested in that. So aside from the death of some characters or the removal of some characters, what does Infinity War hold for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, we know so far that there are three follow-ups to the Infinity War. We have Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, and the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel, as well as the actual sequel to Avengers Infinity War that's currently untitled. That means that we'll at least get the return of Ant-Man and Spider-Man. Really, we don't actually know what's next after Infinity War. Kevin Feige has spoken several times about how the franchise will take a different step and a different direction. A few of the actors will step down, which means that there's a new role for these other characters. Because comics are random and anything can be done, many characters have come and gone over the time. This is led for different teams such as the New Avengers, which 
has included Spider-Man, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Luke Cage. So there is a possibility of swapping out Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, those characters with other characters that are only fresh to the franchise. But really it's up in the air, we don't know. I don't have an insight to the franchise. I wish I did because that would make my job twice as fun and also twice as popular. I'm not gonna speculate about who's gonna die or, or which characters are gonna leave. Ah, just did that. So what do I want from this film? Well, honestly, I just want to see these heroes kicking more ass. My favorite part from Civil War and Thor Ragnarok is seeing those heroes together kicking ass. Team up, that's what we want. I'm looking forward to seeing all sorts of things, including Wakanda. Hopefully we'll get a lot of that in Black Panther and Infinity War. Thanos teaming up with people like Loki and Nebula to take down the heroes. And Doctor Strange teaming up with some new heroes as he's finally joining the Avengers. So what do you guys think? Did you like the Avengers Infinity War travel? So what do you guys think? Did you like Avengers Infinity War? What was JFK like? And how good is time traveling? My name is Ferris, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like, comment, share, subscribe, and the bell icon to get instant updates on every video I do. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click my last video over there. Bang, 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 b